New at 11, there's a new ice cream truck in town and it is serving up more than just something sweet to eat. We all remember the sound of oh, an ice cream yeah. truck, right? This one is, is wonderful. The family run business is teaching some very valuable lessons here. The truck is actually called Special Neat Treats. Joel Wegner has 10 kids, two of them, Mary and Josh, have Down syndrome. And he wanted a way to include them and give them some work as well, some work experience. So he bought an ice cream truck. Want them to learn some things as far as money and, and uh, uh, cashing out things and also interacting with people. So, uh, feel free. Now he says so far the response from the community has been overwhelming. Wagner says he hopes this ice cream truck serves as an inspiration and raises awareness about Down syndrome. They will see uh, Mary or Josh in the background working and so it sparks some, uh, you know, some conversations with people. And, and I hope through all of this and even uh, you coming and talking to me will encourage people to encourage special needs of all types to find something to do. By the way, you can find special neat treats driving through neighborhoods in Loveland right now, but the truck also does special birthday parties, other private events as well. You can find more information on their Facebook page, special neat treats, so you can hire them to say, come to a gathering or something. It'll be great. And what a great dad, you know, to say, uh, we need to do this. We need to show teach everybody them that, it's that okay. Skill, the yes, responsibilities. And, and I love, oh. I love a good ice cream truck. We used to run after when we were kids, didn't we? Yes, we did. <laughs> well, if you're looking for something to do with mom this Mother's Day, check out Art on Vine. It returns to Fountain Square this weekend. More than 80 local vendors will be there selling boutique art, pottery, photography, and more. You do have to wear a mask and booths will be socially distanced. It starts at noon on Mother's mm. Day, which we hope the weather holds. Yeah, out that's, that's the big question. Noon on Mother's Day. Oh, look at Steve. That's not a good look. Not <laughs> I, a good look, Steve. We, we set you up there are you again, a, huh? Are, is that your, oh no, or I'm ashamed of what I have to say? Uh, <laughs> yeah, all of those will fit. Yes, thank you guys. Yeah, I, uh, as you'll notice here, um, yeah, well, I'll show you Sunday's forecast here in a moment. A lot of folks know there's some rain coming, and I'm sorry to say that Art on Vine is scheduled uh, for Sunday. Take a look at the story right now. There's some rain showing up in Georgetown, down by Ripley, Maysville. You'll notice there's uh, one thunderstorm down there in Mason County, and our uh, lightning strike indicator is picking that up in the last 15 minutes. And you'll notice there's a couple of more showers, a couple of uh, heavier pockets just to the uh, northeast of Butler. Once this goes through, that's going to be about it. And then we're going to start clearing out for everybody. In fact, some areas have already started to clear out here in the tri-state, and temperatures are going to drop. We're going to see them really fall off into the 30s, as we talked about in the top of the show. Right now, we're in the upper 40s in most locations, although Cincinnati holding strong at 50 degrees. There is a frost advisory out overnight and through 10 o'clock in the morning uh, here and really a stripe across the entire region because of this cold air coming in out of the northeast. So take a look at my temperatures for the morning. I've got anywhere from 34 degrees to 37. So there'll be a lot of areas with some frost on the ground. You'll see that kind of crinkly uh, grass or anything else that's associated with it. And as we go through the day, the good news here is, is we're going to have plenty of sunshine. Uh, the temperatures are still going to be on the chilly side, but we'll call it pleasantly cool. Uh, temperatures are going to be in the upper 50s the way I see it to the low 60s. So we're running about 10 degrees, 12 degrees below average for this time of the year. We're going to see the cloudiness move out of here along with the rain and the clear skies are going to stick around here for our Saturday. Uh, here's Saturday morning first thing and you'll You'll notice one system moving out and one system already creeping in. And so by later in the day on Saturday, we'll be increasing the clouds from an area of low pressure that's out here oh, in the middle of the nation now. But by Sunday, unfortunately, is going to drop all that moisture and drop it down. Boy, we're going to see some heavy rain at times, in fact, in the afternoon. Now we have a chance for showers for Saturday night. Here's midnight, one o'clock, and you'll notice some green on the screen. But watch what happens as we head into Sunday. We're going to see, bam right about 11, 12, 1 o'clock. Now you know why I was doing this with uh, Tanya and Craig. Uh, this line is going to be moving through according to Future View, and it, it rolls through some very heavy rain, maybe some embedded thunderstorms. And then we end up also seeing some scattered showers and pockets of rain right through your uh, Sunday night.
So a good deal of sunshine for most of the day. Then we start picking up the clouds for our Saturday. On Sunday, it's a whole nother thing, and that is the rain pretty much throughout the day and the chances for some thunderstorms continuing uh, throughout the afternoon and uh, early 